Peace. This is a meat and potato sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is bully. One of the things that I abhor is bullying. I have no respect or compassion for a bully, but yet not only is it becoming more prevalent, it's becoming more accepted. As indigenous people say, people troglodytes speak with a forked tongue your actions contradict your words and when you look at it there's always been bullies but now it's becoming more accepted because of artificial intelligence and you have a plethora of resources like stopbullying.org etc where they're laying it out like Teenagers from 12 to 18, they're catching it. And especially on these platforms like Facebook, for example. And I can give one one thing that really devastated me is this meanness with people, especially with children. There was a young girl, so very beautiful, named Ashanti Davis. She had lost a fight and everybody was mocking her and berating her on social media and that poor baby took her life. That's something to think about. When um, she just ended, she self-deleted herself. And then I don't have to talk about Shaquilla Robinson. And these were so-called friends. And this child was not even trying. This young lady was not trying to fight back. And was liquidated. And one of her friends was taping it. And we have people getting bullied because either they're pretty or either they're smart or people gravitate towards them. And this was saying this was coming then because masculinity would become not extinct, but metaphysically comatose. This was talked about in Behold the Pale Horse. This also was talked about in A. Ralph Epperson's book. The Unseen Hand, and it also was even discussed to a degree in The Black Man's Guide to Knowing the Black Woman by Mama Shaharazad Ali. And James Cameron, director of Avatar and Titanic, said, and I quote, that masculinity is toxic and need to be removed. And I'm like, Okay, you were, you were a decent director, but you a troglodyte. Who do you think you're talking to? And there's a movie that if you get time, I want you to see it because it was outlining what was going to happen. That's Demolition Man 1993 with Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes when they were basically thawed out from their cryogenic stasis and was placed in another century. And Wesley Snipes was telling people, we could take over these towns because these men are soft. They can't fight. Men back then couldn't fight. And they weren't even trying to fight. Everything was, let's talk. Well, oh, well, well, let's do this. See that. If you want to toughen yourself up, have your voice, please work with Satan. And most people say, oh, well, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Oh, okay. Well, if you're a man, let me give you some uh, motivation. If you don't work with a darker current, whether it be with Satan, Belial, or Andromalius, etc., you're going to come home one day and your queen is calling someone else daddy along with your children. Check. So it's very important that we look at it. Because men are getting bullied in the workplace. Women definitely are getting bullied. Sleep with me or you're fired. I've seen this plenty of times. And some women do go for it. I mean, you got women sleeping with college professors just to get an A on their paper. That's bullying. So these are things that we really have to look into and examine. And especially with children. Because a lot of these children now, and yes, I'm going to brutally say it. A lot of them do not have souls and are walking for lower level parasites. So we need to stop the bullying and we got to go way beyond and just taping and filming stuff. 
Use your magic for the greater good. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.